Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And for this week, I realize there's only a couple days left in this week, if that. The Anis 300R is available again for a limited time, until Thursday. So, I guess this is what they're going to do now. They're going to have a set of cars that are on rotation that aren't normally available? Or is this just another last chance to get it? Like, are they just going to keep playing on us with the fear of missing out? Playing on us with the FOMO? Rotating cars in and out as opposed to perhaps giving us new cars. This is... This is this is not making me happy. You should put this in. It should be here. You should be able to just get it when you have the available funds. It should be a luxury. You can just go and buy it. If you want to save up your money and get it, because it is $2 million, you should never have this feeling of, well, I only have this week. So I have to get $2 million together, and if I don't have time to play it, I have to give them money for shark cards. I get it. I get what they're doing. It's a money maker. Um, hopefully they stop doing this, but, you know, at some point, and they just give us all the cards. Because there's going to come a point where they walk away from this. I mean, unless they're going to set this on auto-rotate and then just walk away from the game when they start focusing everything on GTA 6, and if there is a GTA online for GTA 6. Will this even go away? Are we going to lose all of our stuff? I have no idea. So I'm not buying one of these. I already have one. It's behind me. But since this came out for around Christmas, and now it's come back around around Easter, it's come back. I thought, let's let's brighten this up. This is a little bit too too dark and foreboding. Hey, it's fully upgraded. I mean, grant you, it's it's an Amani Tech car. We have loaded with Amani Tech. But let us let's spruce this up. Now I'm going to use. A color scheme that I, I'm going to unveil in a future video, but I want to get this out. You'll see. You'll enjoy it. It'll, it'll be interesting. Well, let's change the look of this car around. We're going to go with a gold. Not like a gold metallic, but an actual gold. But then with a pearlescent yellow. Which I find brightens it up and gives it... Really, a very nice gold sheen without being one of the... The metallics are a little bit drab. And this is nice and perky. Secondary color, we're going to go with... Let's see, what do we want to go with on this? we got options. Do we want to just chrome it, or do we want to go with the silver? What's... Silver and gold, silver and gold... Blue silver, straight up silver. The silver doesn't necessarily pop. Now I can leave the interior blue. Which that would kind of work on many ways as well. What if we go with an ultra blue highlight? Retain some of the original. Too much of a clash for what it's doing. Or should we just really go Ego Metallic? Oh, you have to go, you know, not Metallic, let's go Metals. It's currently brushed aluminum. Do we want to make it something else? Like a, a brushed gold. Gold on gold? Is that too far gone? Maybe we just match it up. Or do we just do the, the standard? Gold with chrome accents. Let's do that. Trim color. We gotta we gotta warm this up a little bit. I'm actually leaning towards a white here. Ice white. And so what we end up with is this mix of gold, chrome, and black. And we could we could do you know we could, I like the chrome edge on here, as I would go. Just just make it black. 
it's a slightly different look. Let's see, roof. Yeah, I think we, we we're happy with everything there. Turbo, we got one. Wheels, do we want to? Wheel type. What if we did like a a chrome rim muscle style? Man, did you know I love the mercenaries? But what, you know, there's a lot of different. Yeah, the old school do look good on us. El Jefe. Muscle Freaks are nice too. It's a very Matchbox vibe to that. I like it. Some Chrome Muscle Freaks. Tires. Make sure they're bulletproof. Tires smoke. Crew smoke. Now let's go some back to white. They're bulletproof. Do we want to put drag right now? Let's let's leave this as it is. Oh, the lights are still crew. Let's fix that. I mean, you know, blue lights kind of work in everything in that that Highway 35 Hot Wheels kind of way, but oh, we didn't look at if there's any liveries that could enhance this. Let's see. So, two things. And they're both in the L's. Neon kits, neon layouts, fine. Neon color. Brighten it up. Livery. So you got black shopping list. It gets cut, that gets ruined by the armor. Ruined by the armor, ruined by the armor, ruined by the armor, ruined by the armor. It's all ruined by the armor. That doesn't get ruined by the armor. Armor picks up a little something there. That is interesting. Ruined by the armor. So the red offset stripe is the only thing we can do. I think it adds something. Okay. Now, on a phase two here. I want to get some actual use out of this while we talk about it. Work it, own it. Rescue operation. I, I like the rescue operation. You feel like you're actually doing something good for somebody, you know? Who are we rescuing? We're going to do this the hard way because we're going to be doing it with the, the 300, but... It's really just a premise for some, something in the background while we're talking. You know, while we visit. Anything I can do for you, boss? You can watch my videos. Like and subscribe. And we'll get on down the line here. Okay, this is an Imani Tech. Is it good? Looks good. Hey, what's up? I'm going to need you to head down to the terminal by the docks. Man, our client is a major importer. And I guess he wandered into the wrong shipping container and saw too much of that after I was shit. You feel me? So, some hired guns blew up his car, man, and got him pinned down. We got to get him up out of there. Theoretically. Is that mine? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, it's slick. You have, to, you have to know what you got going. I right? forget what I put on this thing. I think oil slick is the only option. So I'm wondering what the pattern's going to be now. So is this going to be every week we're going to get a new car for one week that we could have had before, but now you can have it again for one week, and then you got to wait again until it comes up in rotation, if it ever comes up in rotation again. And if this happens to every new car they add, how big will the rotation be? Will it get to the point where, yeah, you're, you're going to have to wait, like, 
two years before this is ever going to come up again. So it's pretty much an absolute fear of missing out because you're just not going to catch it. Not unless you're, you know, playing every week or actually, really, if you're playing every week and you're not watching, you know, the guys who are in the uh, the GTA library that in the description of this video, the guys who are like, you know, GTA men, Ruffy1322, Gilla Master. TGG. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them down there. If you're not watching on a regular basis, if you're not subscribed to those guys, you're not going to know what car is coming up. You're not going to, you know. Or you'd have to really diligently watch the newswire and read through every bit of it and don't miss anything because, you know, it, it has to become a passion or you're going to miss, miss out on stuff. It's just they're not... It used to be, I mean, back in the day, if there was a DLC and you came to it six months later, you could experience all of it. Maybe there's, you know, some bonuses you'll miss out on, but you're not going to miss the grand experience of the whole thing. No, no, they, they want you playing it 24-7, I guess. I don't know, they want you to focus your whole life for like a car like this, which is pretty. I'm glad I have it. I like, I like the gold a lot better than the blue, by the way, don't you? I think the red stripe makes it too Christmassy, or is it? It still could be an Easter car. I don't know. It's good enough. It could be like a Fabergé egg. Okay, we get the whole focus thing. Now this gets to be a little bit tougher because normally I could just pelt these people with missiles. That's not what's happening. I can't use the missile lock on to find them. We're gonna have to do this as as it's intended, really. Not one of the good guys. Oh good, I don't actually I can't accidentally shoot a good guy, I guess. Red means bad. You can see how, how easy it would be to have friendly fire in a situation like this. Everyone's just in suits. Those guys are the Oh it said red, so that's it. Hey, we collected the client. What do you think of this FOMO car? I got because I feared missing out. And now we're going to make these guys go slippery. Don't worry, I know my way around. You feel like going airborne? Woo! Really does jump particularly well. Oh, they teleported! Prepare for a slippery time. They slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. You know that they're near your destination when they teleport in front of you again. Like, come on! Slip slide. Well, we could try the classic drive against traffic technique. Make AI crash into each other, I guess. The sloppy mines aren't really all that great, probably, on the straights. Sloppy! But through that turn... The best part is they don't even have to... Are you working for them? Not anymore. Yeah, try to navigate that. So this is this week's FOMO. Will there be one next week, or will it be every month? Oh, that's right. We have to go up and around and 
down and in. In there. How do we get in there? Go, you saved. Saved from the FOMO. No, we're never saved from the FOMO. So what if they do a rotation of like one car a month? Like, I'm not sure what we got to hope for here at this point. Like, like if they keep adding cars, you will never see them again. I mean, years will go by. If they don't keep adding cars, then we're not getting any content. Uh, look, how many times do I have to ask, guys? Just put them all in the game. Stop this. Stop doing this. Because what you're going to reap is apathy. You know what? If you if it's really going to be, there's just no way for you to get in the car. Then you'll drive something else. You'll just you'll drive what you get. Because you know what? In real life, you can't have every car either. You can't have every plane. You can't get every t-shirt. You can't get every bonus. You can't, you know... You can't have everything. So, Rockstar, I ask you again. It's a video game. Could you have us in, in one fantasy world that we go to to escape from the stresses of our daily life? Could we just have access to everything? Hmm? Don't do this Fortnite stuff. There's a reason I don't play Fortnite. Okay. What the oh come on, that shouldn't have been a fail. That, that's pretty darn cool. Um, I mean, the main reason I don't play Fortnite is I'm, I feel like playing something like Fortnite, I will play Team Fortress too. I mean, that's just that simple. I don't have the the whole build a build a staircase while I shoot at people thing down yet. Okay, yeah, so soon. It's just not what I'm doing. What do you think? Oh, I'd say, uh, put in the comments below what you think, but don't naturally because of uh, the COPPA Act, which is still in effect. All my video our videos are made for children because, hey, I'm Barney over here just shooting people in their cars because they tick me off. Okay, you shouldn't be watching this. Anyway, I'm just saying that I'm not, I'm not getting my house taken away because someone thinks all video games are for children. I mean, that's just... It's the government. I can see it coming, and that's, you know... There was some explicit thing said that, you know, just because a game has a mature rating, that doesn't mean it's not made for kids. And if you've seen my video, which is actually uh, age-restricted on, you know, the Parent's Guide to GTA, most of the comments, when they could get comments, were uh, from kids. So now I have a video that I age-restricted so the kids would stop commenting on it. But uh, I also have it as made for kids, so it's age restricted and made for kids because that's the that's the world we live in. It's just you know complete and utter insanity for the most part. <sighs> At least we get to see it kind of drive in and get itself healed again. Nothing going on here just yet. Let's get out in the sunset or sunrise or whatever that is. What time is it? I don't even know. I could look, but I'm not gonna. Good time. All right, we'll look. All right, sunset. Sunset's coming up. Need to get a good, good position here. There you go. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I guess we're just going to have to deal with whatever they decide that, you know, I'm sure there has been board meetings and people aren't going to back off whatever decisions they've made. This is just going to be it. Oh, we'll just keep these cars rotating and you'll always have a chance to get them. So we're not bad people. It's just that you'd better be there for that week sometime in 2027 when this comes back up again. So uh, good luck on all that, gang. Uh, and you know what? What's really hilarious? We haven't even gotten all the drip feed cars yet from the from the first dose. And I did a lot of the first dose stuff when there was snow on the ground. 
But here we are, in the middle of April. Hooray. Oh well, it is what it is. If I didn't enjoy the game, I wouldn't be playing it, right? <sighs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I thought you said to say, ah, that I did, but I didn't tell you to say, ah!